typical Power BI dashboard is very colorful and nice. However, does it really take the message across? Can you tell from this picture here if my sales performance, for example, is good or bad? How good? How bad? Where should I focus my attention? How should I act upon this? Very hard to tell. If I show another picture here, um, is my sales performance here good or bad? Well, it's not completely good because I see from the picture that my sales is below the plan and I also know how much below the plan, exactly 1.1 million below the plan and I do have all the explanations of this variance. Why? Because certain product categories are underperforming uh, compared to plan and so on. So I have all the explanation, I have the context and this is how you can um, make sure that your dashboards and reports in Power BI become understandable and actionable. I'm Andrew Zebra BI and making reports and dashboards in Power BI understandable and actionable is what Zebra BI is all about. Zebra BI visuals for Power BI are used for sales dashboards, sales reports, financial reports in Power BI, but also other uh, operational reporting uh, like supply chain, manufacturing, HR, market research analysis and so on. Um, in order for a business user to create understandable and actionable reports, he needs, um, he needs certain skills and certain items in his toolbox, certain tools, things like advanced charts, uh, things like the ability to create a variance analysis really fast and in a meaningful way. Um, features like top end plus others, so not just simple filterings. Filtering which is smart and will aggregate um, data elements into the others road to understand uh, how important they are. Um, things like bridge charts that are sorted, bridge charts with top N elements filtered. Um, group tables with variances, right? Um, things like comparing month to date with year to date with full year results where you change the uh, comparison of actual versus plan um, to forecast versus plan uh, for the full year, right? Things like income statements, P&Ls, cash flow statements, which are really, really hard to do in Power BI. Bridge charts with subtotals, uh, more top end options, uh, the ability to display forecasts in all the charts, um, price volume mix, variance analysis, and doing all that not just in one chart, doing that in multiple charts at once so people can compare visually different types of, of categories and learn, uh, get the insight and then act upon this. If you thought this is uh, hard to do, think again, it is really easy with the Zebra BI visuals for Power BI. So let me show you just quickly how they work in Power BI. Let's take a couple of examples here. Uh, this is a sales dashboard here and um, constructed completely uh, um, of Zebra BI visuals. So we have certain tables, charts here. These are all Zebra BI visuals, um, which will render the variance analysis, uh, will explain, uh, will give explanations in report page tooltips, will support Power BI, drill through buttons, things like that. And I actually quite easy to construct. We have two visuals. The first one is called Zebra BI tables and the second one is called the Zebra BI charts. If I start with a Zebra BI table, I have a nice example here. So um, this report here is done in just one single Zebra BI table visual. Okay, let me delete this one and try to recreate the same example. Let's just remove this. I will use the first Zebra BI visual, so these are the Zebra BI tables. Click to add my visual onto my page here and I will add my sales actual value and for the start compare this to my previous year and break this down 
by a group of business units. Voila, it's done. I have the actual values. I understand the importance of my business units because they are sorted by default and Zebra BI has calculated the variance from previous years. So I have my absolute variance here. I have the relative variance here, which means what are the fastest growing elements. Now I can just simply click to sort ascending by uh, descending by uh, absolute variance, uh, descending, I can sort by, you know, the uh, relative variance to identify the fastest growing um, business units and so on. I can do things like hide certain columns from my visual with a single click and the visuals are completely responsive. So if I make the visual more narrow, the uh, visual representation will change and in my example here I got the so-called integrated variance chart which is very compact and will present the most important information like the actuals and the variance in the same the sing uh, in a single chart whereas if you do have more space like in my example you simply make the visual bigger and Zebra BI will uh, decide to visualize more information uh, and the most meaningful information for the space that is available. Now in tables, a typical uh, requirement for tables are hierarchical uh, rows. So you can simply add multiple fields in the category here, which will automatically uh, present the so-called expand collapse options here. So the user can simply click to close or expand uh, a branch in a visual. There's no limitation on the number of elements here. So you can have multiple levels. You can have three, four, five, seven levels in your hierarchy. Next thing um, you can, let me bring back my previous year column, which I have hidden here, you can easily achieve the column structure. So you can simply click and drag the columns around, you know, to make sure that the order of columns is um, consistent across your organization. You can change the chart types. For example, I can switch the chart for the relative variance to a simple column number with numbers, right? Next thing, we support more comparisons. So if I bring in the plan, now I have all the comparisons. I have my actuals, I have my previous year value, I do have my plan, which I can now place here, for example, and both variances, uh, the uh, variance to previous year and the variance to plan and you can simply in a very flexible way change all this. Moreover, you can also create a structure in your columns. What would be interesting here in my example is to compare the um, monthly results with year-to-date results. Quite easy with, P uh, with Zebra BI tables. You simply take your period calculations and you put them into the grouping field. So we support the grouping. And now you can have several groups of elements. Maybe um, make sure that everything fits onto the screen. And this is already a typical report, um, typical business report uh, created with one single Zebra BI table. Uh, on the other hand, of course, charts with the horizontal axis are also extremely important uh, for every business analyst. So let's take a look at another example here. Uh, these are the Zebra BI charts. As you see, I have multiple visuals, multiple charts in one single visual. This is called a small multiple um, and it's something that is not available in Power BI, whereas Zebra BI does this really well. Uh, if I try to recreate this now, um, let's try to do this. This time I'm adding the Zebra BI charts visual and I will add some sales data, break this down by month. All right, this is a typical monthly chart, monthly column chart, and uh, it gets much more important and interesting if I now do the comparison, right? So I'll do the comparison to previous year. 
And now the chart has magically changed and I got this waterfall chart here because now I'm comparing previous year to my actuals. I do understand immediately that we are 8.2% above previous year. I can click here because all of the elements on the Zebra BI visuals are completely, completely interactive. If I click now, I got the absolute variance, so it's 600 and something K above previous year. I can click once more and get both the absolute and relative labels. Uh, you can click once again, just one click to cut the axis uh, in the waterfall chart. And of course, this is not just one chart. What we did with the Zebra BI visuals is we have packed many types of charts. All of the chart types that you need as a, as a business um, designer, right? Um, and we have this so-called chart slider where you simply click and you will get another chart type here, like the uh, column chart, which is again completely responsive. So if you make it small, if you don't have, if you just need a small chart, you will make it small, um, quite narrow, and all the information will be presented is this in this limited space whereas if you do have more space just make it bigger and zebra bi will additionally calculate and display all the variances next we have area charts line charts and so on and what is even more important is the information density right now you need to do the breakdown breakdown by uh, a business unit, breakdown by customer, breakdown by product, right? You need to understand what is actually happening in your business. So if I do this in, in Zebra BI, I'll just add a group of business units and voila. What happened now is that all of my business units are displayed within the same visual, right? Of course, you have a lot of control how to for the settings, how you optimize the display, for example, you can actually control the exact number of pixels for the uh, category size to make sure that, you know, your charts are displayed in a proper way. Um, you can control the, the, the data labels, make sure that they are clean and understandable. Um, you can display not always all the labels, you have complete control over the label density, for example. In my case, this would make more sense just to display the most important labels here. And voila, I got a nice analysis in only one single visual with the Zebra BI visuals. So this was a quick run through of the Zebra BI chart, Zebra BI tables. Um, our visuals are also used for income statements because they do have a lot of advanced features. Uh, typically in an income statement, you would need um, a, bit of, a bit more functionality because income statements uh, have subtotals. They may have uh, good KPIs and bad KPIs like expenses within the same data set, right? So what we have done here is you can use a vertical waterfall chart here. And now for certain elements, you simply say, like my revenue here, it's actually a result. It's a total of my product revenue and service revenue, right? So that's why you can simply right click and mark it as a result. A normal waterfall chart would just stack all the elements one on top of another, but in Zebra BI, you can actually right click and do this for each row. So I mark this one as, as a, a subtotal and I can also invert certain rows like expenses or, or uh, costs, like in my case, the product cost, simply right click, invert, and this is how you construct your income statements, PNL, uh, PNL um, analysis, uh, pricing uh, calculations, and things like that, cash flow statements. Um, the important thing as well in reporting is that you're able to add your forecasts your estimations and so on into your reporting. Um, like in my case here, I'm actually showing the actuals versus plan up until the current month, right? But what is going to happen up until the rest, up until the end of the year? So for all the rest of year, 
I do have a forecast, right? So this is another feature of Zebra BI, visuals, all of our charts, and even the Zebra BI tables support forecasts in a really, really nice way. So this would be a typical view if you don't have the forecast for the end of the year. If you do have it, you simply take the field and put it into the forecast bucket here and Zebra BI will present it for the rest of the year, calculate all the um, growth rates and so on. And this can be done in all the visuals that we have in all the charts, including the Zebra BI tables. So I invite you to go to our website and um, import the Zebra BI visuals into your um, into your Power BI reports. Our visuals are available on the App Source. They are certified by Microsoft. Um, the basic version is free and we do have a 30-day free trial for the professional version. And uh, make also sure that you um, visit our website uh, to download uh, a lot of examples that we have there, how-to videos, more tips and tricks. Enjoy and good luck.